So there are two people here. Who are you? Just let me know who you are. And where are you learning from? Good morning, everybody. Sure. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, my darling. Welcome. Thank you for joining. <coughs> Hi, Mama. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Okay, um, thank you for, for everyone that is here. Thank you, thank you for... Hi, my closest band, Kosi, how are you? Thank you for, for those that, that started with me, and I'm grateful for this journey, 14 days today. Yeah, so yeah. Welcome to day four. I am excited. I'm glad. Um, good morning, good morning, Gogo. Thank you for being here. And today I'm exhausted, like I am on, on Zoom. Uh, good morning, good morning, Makimela. Thank you, thank you for coming. I'm on zero point, and let me see, maybe zero point five. I think the the intensity of the inner work I was doing on myself, yeah, just took another toll on me. <laughs> if not for this, ah, I would still be in my bed. And to show that I'm going back, I didn't even make up the bed today. When I'm done here, then I can in the blankets. Right. So um Wow, it has been a beautiful journey. It has been um, transformative for those that have been here and, and, and you know sharing what um, the information that was shared in your life, uh, you know, has been doing. Timisa is here. Hi, Timisa. Uh, I'm grateful for for you guys opening space, you know, and trusting the gift that God has given me. Like I always say, there's no gift without you. So um, I might as well be dead if there are no people to be using the gift or that to be serving um, for. So clearly, if you are here, it means that you resonate with the reason why I'm here. You resonate with my message and I'm grateful for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know how I'm going to say this thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I'm not gonna go back to what we did. Um, for you who is interested on the simplicity of the ancestral realm, you can start from day one. Perhaps um, um, I think we're we're going to finish this on the 17th, which is next week, Saturday. So I might leave this for a week. The, the the whole content the whole videos I'm gonna leave it for a week and <clears throat> I'm going to remove 
like I said yesterday, I'm going to remove the. So you still have chance to recap, start from the beginning. And I advise that if if there's something that maybe you are interested in, it will be it's much easier for you to start where I started, so that you can understand the flow of uh, you know the whole con concept. Yeah, so that you don't get lost because you're still gonna ask questions, and then you find that the questions that you are asking have already dealt with them in the beginning, right? So start from the foundation, um, who answers the I and all that. And for some, it's not that you don't know these things, but you may feel that you need a different perspective, you know, something that will add on whatever that you already have, right? So yeah, and today we will be doing um, tarot cards reading. Um, the name of this tarot card, um, Angels and Ancestors, right? Angels and Ancestors. So I am going to take, let's see, um, one person per, per card, right? So um, let me know if you are interested in the card reading. Just say yes or me or raise your hand, then I will start. Anyone that is interested, say yes or raise hand, whatever, um, indicate if you are interested, then I will start with the card reading. <sighs> yeah. Waiting on you, my ladies. Okay. My focus is on. Um, Okay, I will start with Kosi because she's the first one that raised the said yes. Um, please be mindful that, uh, okay, for, for those that have worked with me before, I, I use different tools for, um, Google, can you please leave it till not the end that I rushed through the videos to catch up since I was taking a note, catch up, but others might need more time. Oh, you mean the videos? Okay. Because you asked, because it's you, Gogo, I will leave them. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so, like I said, I'm using different tools for my divination. Um, I actually wanted you to do, by the time, I wanted to do the candle, candle, candle flames reading, but I noticed what I didn't tell you guys yesterday, um, so that you can send me your, um, what is this, your pictures, right? But um, I decided let's let's do this, let's let's do the tarot cards. So I knew I knew boss lady is gonna come for some reason, NJ. I knew that Linda, the boss lady. Of the of the house will be here. Okay, so let's start with this. I am connecting with the spirit uh, of angels and ancestors of this deck, tarot cast deck, and um, all of them. They know. They know your your issues. They know your struggles. They know what you want to know. They and sometimes hi hi Kelavaha. Thank you for joining. Um, thank you for joining, boss lady. Um, yes, so Linda, for those that are here, Linda and Kialeboka, I was, I said, if you are interested in the card reading, raise your hand so that I don't leave anyone behind. Um, if I don't see your hand, I'm passing, right? So I'm going to start, it's, 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 it's Kosi, Kamas Bugo, and Matumelo, those are the three ones, right? And then I'll go and check the other ones. So your ancestors, um, spirit, you know, the divine intelligence, God, the Holy Spirit, um, and every other being that is connected to you, they are present right now, um, and I welcome them. I welcome, <laughs> okay, I welcome you guys. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, today, it's like I'm carrying some things here. My, my whole body is just so. I'll be fine. Um, so I acknowledge the spirit of the 21 days experience with our sisters. I welcome my welcome spirit of light, uh, Archangel Michael, to protect even the information that is going to come here because 
um, I believe that your next level is depending on it. Um, it's very easy for you to get the answer and it's another thing for the answer to stay with you, right? It's another answer for what? I mean, another thing for your, okay, boss lady noted, for your answers to stay. Um, we are badly against principalities and, and rulers, you know, and powers of dark forces. So the moment they see that this, there will be a shift, Lerato, okay, there will be a shift in your life. They will come and manipulate with whatever that is your lowest or uh, your, your, yes, your lowest pain or rather your greatest pain. So there's quite manipulation. So I'm asking that Archangel Michael will really protect all of us and, and protect the information and, you know, your ancestors of light will help you to ground yourself in this, whatever that they want to say to you so that it can work in your life. All right, let's go. Let us go. Um, Cosine. Am I right? Okay. You know my kids have my other phone and this one can do a marrava start thing. Okay, yeah. Kosi Zakele. Great. Let's start with you, Kosi, 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 Kosi. All right. So, Kosi. Okay, Kosi. The cut that is coming out for you, I'm gonna share it now, is the night. Um, I'll be brave and honest. Right. Um, I think you see this. Be brave and honest. This is for Kosi. And what I'm sensing for you is the bravery and honesty in who you are. There has been a lot of things that you have been not truthful about in your life that you feel that if you do them, you're going to break friendships, you're going to break relationships, you're going to disconnect with other people because you feel that your journey is different. It doesn't make sense. Of course, it's not made to make sense to everyone but you. So um, the bravery and the honesty is that the Yahore, listen, I am Kosi. Um, I am called in a different path. Um, I am actually unique. I'm different from everyone. And being okay and be brave about it and being honest with yourself before you can actually go and think that other people will be able to understand you. Nobody is made to understand you. I will tell you today that from also personal experience that even if you try whatever that you want to try, if there is a disconnection from you, outside people are not going to get anything. That is why no matter how hard sometimes we, we try, um, we feel that especially let's say in the work that we do, your coaching, um, you know, this whole uh, healing spectrum, you'll find that you struggle to get um, clients and all that. It's, it's mainly because of there's a certain truth that is not sitting in you, that you are not embracing about who you are because you are following the trend. You're thinking that, you know, for you to close yourself in this, um, in, in, in this box of fear, in this box of trying to please everyone, it's gonna be okay. But you are killing yourself because you, you block yourself. Ne? And when you block yourself, there is no flow. So you have to be in a space of alignment at all times. This is not only for Kosi, it's for those as well that are struggling with what Kosi is struggling with. So the bravery of owning up to your truth, you know it. You know your truth, but the problem is you being scared of being accepted, you being scared of being um, rejected, you being scared of um, you know, people not responding to your message. Can the, the first person that rejects you is you. 
once you stay in this power then everything else on the outside falls into place bravery and honesty be honest once you get that for you in you then the rest is history okay she says that is true praise the lord i'm done with kosi <laughs> thank you kosi uh mama zakele yours you when i get uh, it's a broken arrow it says embrace the energy of peace right here is the broken arrow inside you can see um embrace the the energy of peace uh peace is not the peace that they're talking about from outside or no maybe you might be fighting or struggling with someone uh -uh. there is so much wrestle inside of you and the wrestle uh, it's more like what is happening in Kosi's world is more of you wrestling with what you know you're supposed to do now right okay you know what you're supposed to do now but you're feeling it's not gonna work for you you know what's what you're supposed to do at this point in your life but you feel that it's not going to work for you and money is part of it you're feeling that if you can go into a particular path in your calling right you are going to struggle to make ends meet so there's so much wrestle because you're solely saying listen that one is not important this is what we're supposed to do start cooking mama cook go and cook that is what your guys are saying start cooking go and cook stop looking at how many people are catering how many people are doing what that one is none of your business if your gift was not accurate or was not needed god was could have taken you maybe you could have died you know or he, he could have given you something else but because that gift how many people trust me if your gift is not needed in south africa god will take you to somewhere okay maybe where you are if god your gift is not needed in that particular space where you are in that province god will take you to Limpopo, where he knows that there are people that are looking for the spirit and the flavor the fragrance that you have and they're going to embrace it yes yes mama start your cooking that is what i'm saying cook 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 stop all this thing and and and, and embrace the peace that comes with you holding your pots mixing whatever that you are mixing cooking doing whatever because there's so much peace there and you know it so the only way that the arrows can come together is when you embrace the peace and the love and the joy that this gift brings you with Who else? Matu Melone? Guys, my phone is very important. For those that have been here, you know it. <laughs> I must just embrace this gift. Choice. Because if you don't, sorry, if you, if you don't embrace it, you're gonna stay miserably like for the rest of your life and this is what i normally explain to people about purpose if you don't follow it it will frustrate you you will go from pillar to post and they will be telling you how pin is bewitching you how you stepped on a, a you know water when you were passing one street they will start excuse me they will start telling you stories that are not even there and I said the other day in, in one of my live streams, I said the the first witch of your life is you. It's you. For another person's energy and power to come and have power in your life, you open it. 
it actually found ground of the very same thing that is similar to it, that is why it stayed. So if your energy and your strength, or rather your spirit is not resonating, or it doesn't have that lower frequency, just like the, the, the spells and the whatever that comes from the witches and wizards, this is not gonna stand. But it has power because it comes and it joins what you already have inside of you. So purpose, you, you, it will frustrate, it will block, it will, it will just do things. Okay. At the, yeah, okay. Matumelo, then Mandomi, right? All right. Okay. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> I when I get this one, I agree. On a personal level, Matumelo, it's a protection guy, guardian, protection guardian. I'll drop your shield. Matimelo, what are you protecting yourself from? Hmm? Drop your shield. What are you protecting yourself from? Okay. You have been hurt a lot. If you could open your heart right now for us to see, there will be pieces you pieces and pieces and pieces of what you went through and it started way long you know when you were a child to growing up um and i sense this also has to do with your mother um so well now what you did is you struggle to allow people in in your space because everybody comes to hurt you so you have that thing and it's a subconscious thing even when somebody comes with with their true intentions you are unable to see because your heart is just butchered. your heart is just all over the place and you're feeling that nobody's got your best interest at heart including your guides including God, there's a part of you that still believes over Mudimu. Ah, when I'm Mudimu, I think that I have. Why did you have to allow me to go through all these things? So there's so much battle. There's so much, um, you, you leave that defense mechanism. You are always on guard. You know, so right now, the guides, your ancestors, the Holy Spirit, every bit of spirit base that is, that is working with you is unable to help you because you, you carry that thing. You have closed yourself. So there's no one that is able to come in into your space to come and help you heal. You can hear somebody saying, no, you can heal by this, maybe it's here, this and that and that. You're still not going to trust it. Because according to you, nobody's trustworthy. So, Badi Mubahao and angels and every other being that are um, present to, to be working with you, that are assigned to be working with you, they are here and saying, open up, stop protecting yourself. We understand, we know the pain. Some of your ancestors say, we have been where you are. And we are the ones that want to take your hand and show you how the pains that you are carrying comes from. So once you understand the, the root of why you are going through, because the, this is what I always say, that our pains are not just you know, individual pains. Our pains are bloodline pains. 
our pains are ancestral pains and you can't know if you don't have this relationship with them because I as queen can come and explain certain things to you right maybe you come for consultation and I will tell you this and that and that and that right you will hear it at that particular moment but there's a difference between me decoding a certain message for you and you have a relationship with Levashu Bahau, then they will take you along the way and showing you from where I started, you know, moving forward. So hence, I emphasize um, on building the relationship with Levashu Bahau. Um, so Matumelo, drop, drop the shield. Drop the shield. There's nothing to protect from. Nobody is here to hurt you. Um, yes, you have experienced that, but it's not all of them that will come to just take more of what you feel life has taken away from you. You feel God has not been fair to you. You feel why? Why they get pila? You know, I, I, you know, I could have just died. Those are some of the thoughts that you are having. But today they are saying, we are here, we want to work with you, we want to heal with you, we want to guide you, we want to lead you, we want to love you. Okay. Thank you. So, um, my tone, right? Hmm. Okay, my turn be the card that came for you is the wise one. Hmm. I had a feeling that this card is gonna come out today. The wise one are a grow within your current situation. Uh be grow within your current situation. Oh my god, go wise one. You have okay. Um, pardon me, guys, about the, the background noise. As long as you guys can can hear me. So in this card, it shows me a couple of things. But let me start with what 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 comes out first. With you, Barring, grow within your current situation. You have dreams, aspirations. You try. Sometimes you feel like, you know, my trying is not enough. You feel that whatever that I'm doing is just, what's fun, you know, whatever that I'm doing is just not yielding any results. And when you get to a, when you get to a space now of you trusting that things will be better for you, you are reminded by the so many times where you failed. There's so many times where you tried and you were disappointed. There's so many businesses, so many things that you, you know, tried to, to raise yourself up and things did not work. But the, this card, the spirit of the card says to you that this, you have so much knowledge. You have so much potential. You have, you can use what you have what you know from your own personal experiences and the other you know information that you have gotten from the investments that you've made on yourself and establish something for you starting um or going on a journey of healing whatever healer you are it doesn't require money hear me you don't need money to be a healer. You already are. All you have to do is find a platform for you that works with your, 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 your energy and do what and work with it. Grow within your current situation. What is your greatest pain right now, my daughter, that you can go out there and solve the problem of the very people that are struggling with what you are struggling right now let me tell you one of the things and this is what i always say when i create the courses my mastermind my programs 
I didn't notice this since last year, but it became evident this year when I started creating, um, especially my six months. So one thing that I, God started showing me is that when we create um, programs as healers, we think that we are creating for the people, but we are creating for us. See, and this is something that people don't understand or they will not tell you, but I will share it with you because all of you need to know this thing. And this will also help for you that have pride of thinking that people need you more than you need them to go. Your, you create a program or you go out there and speak about something that you are struggling with, not because of you've got everything under control, but because of what you need at that particular moment is tied to you, what you can do for another, right? So whenever I created my programs and then I sit and when I look at the participants or the, the signups or the people that are inside the mastermind, I see how these people actually resemble exactly what I'm going through or the things that I have, um, that I have had to go through. So it's like I, I have called the women that are going through the same pain and the same challenges as me to say come let's heal together so i change my intentions whenever i create my programs and now i start with it right i check where i am and i after i check where i am and what god wants me to create and you know this understanding the spirit of whatever that i need to do then after i get the information the downloads then it's easier for me now to pray and call and you know open up to the woman that needs whatever that I have created to come and walk with me, right? So when I gave this example, because you're thinking that no, but I have to heal first. No, this one I can't talk about. But you will never be ready. That is an unfortunate part. You will never be ready. There has never been a time where you will, somebody saying that, no, I have healed 100%, I heal, that thing, right? So, grow within, decide today that I'm going to show up broke, broken, battered, shattered as I am. I'm going to show up and I'm going to tell my story because that is where power is. That is the only thing that can save you. This is the only thing that can take you. What does the Bible say? My gift will make room for me. Your gift is your story. Your gift is your message to the world. Besides this, you have nothing and you are nothing. So take the, the very broken pieces that you are seeing today. Take them and build something out of it. Grow within your current situation. Be the wise one, right? Like I said, there's never been a time where you will say, ah, you know, I'm fine, I'm healed. Uh -uh. The stages, where you are right now, look at some of the victories and build on them, you know. So that's, that's that. Thank you, my zombie. I think the next one is Kokomu Koji, ne? Koji. Linda, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, Gogo, yours is a Sia. Profit. RC beyond the current situation. Here's it, Mukoji. Here's your art. See beyond the current situation. Two things you are struggling with. 
right now. The first one, the fear of not knowing what to do, right? Yeah, but I can see that I have, I have this gift, I had, how do, how do I use it? And the problem, rather the challenge is birthed from the four corners, or rather the box in which the church has put, you know, purpose to be. A lot of us, Christians for that matter, we're thinking that our gifts are only gifts that works within the four corners of the church, right? So whenever you're supposed to come out and, you know, do what you're supposed to do at this particular time that your soul is asking you to come, then you, you feel, you know, caged and you feel that, but this is not allowed. I can't do this. This is not good for me because of what we have been taught in the, you know, the indoctrination. So that is it. The fear of coming out and not really knowing what is going on with you. So if seeing beyond the current situation means for you to sit down, your heart knows at this point of your life, you know that you have a desire that only if I see myself in an office, you know, being a counselor or being a psychologist or being a coach or being whatever, then when you're supposed to embrace what your heart is telling you, then indoctrination come. You know, so there is that cockhead, you know, going in and out, going in and out of that motion of saying, no, but I know this is how I want to help people, but how do I do that? And the answer will come. You can do this by this and there and that. Then when you are excited and you are feeling, you know, in the mood of, you know, going through what you know that taking steps towards what makes your heart sing. Indoctrination, you know, whoa, am I more? Brick, brick, arbolele. You know, then you go back. Then it questions you, number two, acceptance. Who is going to accept me? No. One of the greatest challenge is Jesus, it just went away. Um, body image issue. You compare yourself too much, looking at yourself like, I don't know where that, this one come from, Gogo, but we have to look into it, of thinking that you're not pretty enough, you are not smart enough, um, you know, the tone of your skin, like you criticize everything about you and you feel that with how you look, nobody's going to love you, nobody's going to embrace you, nobody's going to listen to you, nobody's going to come and just love you and accept you for who you are. And I would say today that, the, like I said, I don't know who I was, um, I was saying this to earlier, that the only person that can reject or the only person that can make the outside world to reject you is you. Once you accept that you are beautiful in your own unique way. And that is why that is why God did not you know give you any features that look like mine because you are beautiful in your unique way. Like there's nothing, there's nobody. You don't have a duplicate. Even if you may have a twin today, your twin will never look like you. You need to take your power back from that. It doesn't matter whether you will be the only person that is dark in your family and all that. It's because of you were not made to fit in. You were not made to look like anyone. You were made to be God in your own right. You were made to be splendid, to be magnificent, to be beautiful, to be... What does the Bible say? It's that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
filled and wonderful. Like there's nothing that is short. Stop comparing yourself. You've got everything you need in the inside of you. And the outside, imagine. Okay. Because okay. Let me let me let me give you guys an example. And for those that just came, we are doing a like tarot card reading. If you are interested in the reading, please raise your hands or say yes. Then um, I'm just coming line right and I will I will I will choose I will, when, when it's your turn I will do a reading for you but if when I'm done there's nobody then I will believe that nobody is interested again so I wanted to talk about this issue of body image and I feel that I relate with a lot of you and I know it's not only Mukoji that is concerned about that that you feel that you need makeup you need certain hair you know whatever before you can start doing what you're supposed to do, right? So when I started, guys, if you know me, I'm a, my name is Mrs. Vulnerable. I don't have this whole thing of hiding and looking like a, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm just this, this, this. What you see is what you get from me. So we have this thing. Um, when I started, I was concerned, just like you. I had issues like serious issues with visibility i looked at myself just like what i'm telling Mukoti right now where you are i looked at myself and there was nothing beautiful there was nothing beautiful in the coming week i am going to share a picture <laughs> i'm even getting emotional i'm going to share a picture of the days when i started live streaming last year 2020 last year in february and where i am right now and i'm going to share this not because of much but for you to understand that you can do anything and you've got this like you really have so when i started i had all this thing or who's going to accept me who's going to love me if you guys see my eyes are not equal the right eye is actually smaller than my 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 left eye and it's an incident i was not born like this the same age when i was sexually abused at the age of five something happened to my eye so i i have been had i wore glasses at some point of my life and i was like i suka no i don't want them because i believe that god is going to heal me one day and this is how i've been you know living my life so the first thing that gave me a problem whenever i'm supposed to show up was my eye i was like yo look at me people are gonna tease because i had this thing when i was growing up if, like people even some people that i didn't know they would come and tease me you know about the eye and all that and even my family members there was a certain word a certain name that i was continuously being called because of this eye every time even the ones that maybe were not staying at home when they come they will be saying yo and not you know you know and what what so i grew up with this thing right because it's just it happened when when i was five six the same age of sexual abuse so you can imagine that i'm dealing with a lot of traumas right when now i'm supposed to show up for what i believe was my right to come out and share with the world for four weeks three to four weeks i set myself out i'm like you know i'm gonna come out i'm gonna show up and that time i wanted to talk about sexual abuse i procrastinated week one i couldn't come out it was tough. I cried every day. Week two, I couldn't come out. I cried. Week three, I couldn't come out. I cried. The fourth week, I was like, I'm an fuck off. I have to break this thing. I really have to break this thing. The day I started showing up on Facebook, you guys go to my page. I've got a page called Johanna Mattel, where I was staying in my father's house back room. It was not a place where I can show myself saying no, you know, more Facebook because, you know, looking at what other people are showing up as, you know, flowers at the back and all that. It wasn't an ideal place.
but I had to break this thing for myself because I believed that this is the only thing that can save me. This is the only thing that can actually give me the results that I want. I am sure I am called for this. The first day I did that, I wanted to run out of the live stream and just switch it off because my mind was like here and there and how people were not showing up and all that. But I breathed and day one passed. Day two passed. I did like, I think it was seven days streaming. Day one passed, day two passed, day three passed. Day four passed, like I got more relaxed every day. No matter the number of people that appeared, I didn't care. I said, I'm going to show up anyway. Come day seven, I remember I was working with one coach and she said to me, I need to stop this. It was on day three or day four. This coach said to me, stop it because you are not called for this. See, and she compared me with her at the stage that she was. And then she showed me how she's got a number of followers that are coming on a daily basis and there are maybe 20 or even above and she said to me that see you don't even have people that are showing it means that this thing is not for you it nearly broke me but i said fuck off i'm not here for her this is for me i'm gonna do it i showed up anyway so i'm sharing this with you guys to show you don't you think that sometimes i'm not away like you know what i said to myself that what there's nothing that I can do. I can't remove this eye. Can you remove your tone, the tone of your skull, your color when I'm good? Can you do that? Can you remove your nose and maybe put the nose that you feel that it's ideal for you? Can you, what is it that you want to remove from your features? You can't do that. And I'm like, listen, this is how I look and I can't do anything about it. So I'm going to love me. I'm going to accept me. And whoever doesn't, buzz off. The ones that my message is for, they will resonate with me without even looking at how I look or all these things that I feel that they are not okay for me. And I showed up and here I am today, a year later. So when I'm saying to you guys, I'm celebrating that it's a one year anniversary, it's not something that it's little because I know my struggles. You can do it. You can do it. And, you know, sometimes we are, you are not going to have supporters from your family, from your friends. It will be like the road is, what am I doing? But I will tell you, you are the only one that has answers for your life. You, have, you answer, like if you die today, okay, what are you going to say? God, please you know, I think that I, 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 I know the better way that I could have showed up. You are responsible for you. You are responsible for your happiness. You are responsible for your life. You're just responsible for everything that concerns you. Create your world the way you wish. Nobody's got to understand. It doesn't matter. Let them not. It's none of their business. When you understand you, everyone that is here, Everyone that is here for you will just show up. They will show up. I'm not crying because of me. I'm crying because not only for me, but I'm crying for all of you that are struggling with this thing of showing up for what you know. Money being the problem, you know, physical, you know, how you see yourself being the problem. Some of you, you are concerned whether you, you don't know English and what, what, I can't speak accurately. Okay, this whole 21 days, what have I been doing? Like I've been stumbling and I didn't care. But English is not my mother's tongue. I'll be asking you guys, what does this thing mean? Not because of what? Bona, I can know everything. And not every day that English will flow. Sometimes I will feel like speaking to Anna, but I know that I'm, I'm, I'm working with people from different cultures. Some of the things you're not going to understand if I speak them to Anna. So there's nothing wrong with you stumbling. There's nothing wrong. I was in the choir where sometimes you will miss the lyrics. Imagine in front of a church 
Matumelo knows where I come from. Kumi knows where we come from. A huge church, you will stumble. But what do you do? Do you stop the band or you run out of the stage and say you are not good enough? Hey, wa mixa na mo. You create something. So I, I, I feel like I left all this thing of trying to be a perfectionist. I left all these things of trying to look like, you know, another person, another healer. And I said, this is me. And I'm going to do me. And I'm doing me. And I don't care. Like, I've been called a sorcerer and what, what. Mm, it's good. It's true. I'm a sorcerer, according to you. But according to me, I'm not. So your truth matters more than anything. You guys got to come out. We can't do this work alone. Somebody will not resonate with me, but they will resonate with you. Somebody, no matter even if we will say that today we are doing ancestral work, our ancestral work's perspective will not be the same. Last year, when I thought that I'm okay, when I was doing the 21 days, um, the first 21 days with my ancestors, it started last year in July, then I did it. The very same healer came to me and told me that, who told you that you can actually teach the ancestral? It's my work. Like we battle on a daily basis. Somebody that I trusted that, no, I need you to hold my hand to come. Like as you will meet things. On this one, we are not going to even be, uh, you know, biased about it. People that you need, you think you need, are the ones that are gonna come and scatter you. He said, listen, I'm the only person that teaches the ancestral. What are you doing? Who gave you permission to do that? I nearly cut off the 21 days with my ancestors. And I'm like, listen, Queen, our visa came to You are not called by her. So you are going to carry on. And I carried on anyways. It was a beautiful success. It was a success. That is why this year my ancestors were like, listen, you're going to do it again. And this time we are not even entering into a group. We are doing this publicly. And I'm not doing this only for me. I'm doing this for me to be comfortable, to affirm my work. And I'm doing it for you to come out and see that there's nothing to hide. Even if your journey is, you know, a, a, a different, it's okay. Because all these things of secrets are the ones that are, um, you know, disturbing our freedom. They block our freedom. Mokoji and everyone else. This is me. If you struggle to do anything, look at me and say, if she's able to do it, I can do it. Let me be, you know, the perfect example. Let my story be strength to you. You can do it. You can do it. I <sighs> If your people are Tswana people, tell God, listen, I don't know how to speak English. What are we going to do? Major one. Let's talk about major one. Is major one English pure? No. It's not. How many pastors do you know that their English is like this? No. But how many congregations did he have? So don't, don't allow pity things to come and disturb. And if you, are, you, you have a problem with your English, start reading books. That is a perfect example. Read. Have a dictionary. Have, okay, go and read the Bible here. Start reading the Bible. Some of us did not know all this big English that we are reading. We started from the church. When I tell people that the church has a particular role it plays in our lives, I mean it. I don't think that I could have been this bold and, uh, and you know, English, whatever that I'm speaking right now, if I didn't start from the church. Read it. Go and read the Bible. Take the dictionary. Any way that you don't understand, have a book. That is how I learned to do all these things. I'm a university dropout. There's nothing that is in my, my life today that I will tell you that it goes according to the system of the world. My life is just crazy. And I accepted it and I'm happy about it right now. <sighs> Guys, let me not go further. But stop trying to be perfect, stop comparing yourself with anyone and ask yourself, well, this thing that I don't like about myself, can I change it? If you can't change it, accept it, embrace it, move on with your life. Simple. I'm done, my coach. We don't believe seeds. One <laughs> color. Okay, um, Galebo.
I wish that there will be something that, you know, for healers, we are so concerned about the spiritual aspect of us understanding all these things, but the soul is not balanced. If we can have, you know, mental, um, mental shift programs for healing, um, you know, talk about the deep things like what we were sharing just right now, the people will come out beautifully because what is really happening to us or the, our struggles are not too much in the spirit more than the soul. Then if your soul is not balanced, the body will be on because the, this body will also do whatever that it wishes, right? So before anything else, I, I pray for a holistic healing. Yes, I can survive and play today. Anyway, it's what it is. So if we can have a holistic healing for healers before they can even go into their journey, I think we will be fine. Somebody, I'm just giving an example. I mean, you, holistic healers, you know that you are called for to come and heal what what this is a program do it right but if you need my help i'm gonna charge you i've got a lot i've got a lot i've got a lot of things that i can share but whoever is ready is ready this is a program that you can do holistic healing for healers create do it. We need to. We need people to take care of us. Right now, I'm doing inner work. I'm on, I'm on my own. Imagine now. Sometimes I need somebody to hold my hands. Right? We will have healers or coaches that deal with this and this and that. But there will, you will, there will be. You know, they're not gonna deal with everything. <laughs> so I don't know what what does that mean. Um, so that that's basically that. Go and do a holistic healing for healers as on grief. And Oscar Rob or Petty Lotani. How do we heal and heal people at the same time? Okay, let's let's work on you. I'm done crying. Um Kalabuka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam. So this is a high priestess. Arhanes mystic powers. Right, Hannah's mystic powers. I saw this and I knew it's gonna come. So, this morning when I was cleaning my cards, right, when I was doing a cleansing. So, on this card, there is balance. Yeah? There's a symbol of the four elements water, air, air. King, water, earth, air, fire, right? There's a symbol of this, of this um, thing. So you harness your mystic powers. You know right now, you know, you see yourself at this point, there's something greater that is calling you. Okay, maybe you are, you are at the door, you want to talk to someone and you don't know how this person is going to react. So you will continuously whistle and go again, you try to knock and then that is what you are doing to yourself. You see there's so much light and potential in the activation of where you are right now, going to another level of your healing practice. But you, why well, you are scared? You're thinking, am I going to be able to carry this? You look at it as if you know it's the most biggest responsibilities, and you're thinking, oh, hey, shine that much glory. Will I be able to carry it? Will how? Like Yautosa, right? So. Your mystic power, this power that you see, this power that you are realizing right now, you need it. So that is why I harness it. Don't just go in, scared as you are. 
Because when you get there, you will actually find out that the only person or the only thing that you are scared of is you. You are scared of yourself. You're just scared of you. It's evolution. You're being called to the higher dimensions. You're being called to your multidimensional. That is what scares you because you think you don't know what to do. You do. Go in as much as possible and ground yourself. The four elements are there and they are saying, listen, ground yourself on the earth, balance yourself and cleanse yourself with the water, and know that nothing is impossible, like you can travel, you can do whatever. With the fire, they're saying that um, your, your passions, they are real. That zeal that you are having is real. What else did I do? F, F, okay, I think I'm, I'm done. Yes, just that. Embrace it all. It is yours. The changes are yours. All these things, they are yours. The mystics. I'm walking a different spiritual journey, different level. Go for it. There's nothing. You are the higher priestess. Yeah, higher priestess. So stop being afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm done with Kiale work. Um, okay, I'm not done. So when you enter in those mystic powers, they are the ones that are going to activate you more. These mystic powers that you are running away from, they are the ones that are going to activate you into a much higher dimension, into the parts of you that, into your shakaina, into your glory. I don't know how to explain this, but there's just so much, so much light, so much glory, so much power, so much potential, so much luxury. No, I don't know how to explain this to you, but yes, empty, just, just give yourself permission to do that. And say, God, I'm scared, but I'm going to go in. My ancestors, whatever that you believe in, I am scared, but I'm going to trust in this process. Come in. Boss lady. Okay. <laughs> Show my boss lady. Okay, boss lady, yours is the sun. I enjoy success and happiness. Here's your card, my boss lady. Enjoy success and happiness. Do I have to elaborate? Yours is simple. Enjoy success. It's time for you to rip off. It's time for you to rip off. It is time for you to harvest, Linda. Whatever that you have sown in tears, in joy, you are the most generous person I have ever seen. And this is the time that they're saying it's time for your success. Like anything, be expectant. Ne? Expect success. Anything that you go on a journey of. Anything that you feel that I want to build. Anything that you want to start. Anything that you ask for. Expect expect success expect happiness out of it because it is the sun is out to shine on you favor my girl favor yeah how is simple i'm glad all right um who else lerato Um, if anybody wants a reading, please I think it's 
the Marato on. So I'm checking, Kore, is there anyone else besides Laratoni? Okay. Okay, Mama noted. Okay, I think it's Narato and um, Mama Tumiza. Alright, I don't know if there's only one or some morning, ne? if you guys, if there's anyone. Narato. Okay, let's start with Narato. I saw Narato. And then we do the last two ladies. If, yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it. Is Lorato here? Lorato, just say yes. If you're not here, um, let me pass. Hi, Lorato. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. If Lorato is. Oh, okay, perfect. Lorato is here. Mpumi, what does the ears say? The ears say, I am I'm here, or the ears say, I'm here, I want to hear from me, or I'm listening for others. Laratele. Hmm. So your, your cat is the um, Shaolin Master. The Shaolin Master. Or be graceful in movement and action. Lerato, uh, okay, yeah, I will, I will follow this. Thank you. Okay, Lerato, be graceful in movement and in action. All right, when I have yours is to take actions you have set with ideas you have set with programs and projects for a long time that you are waiting for something and i sense that one of the greatest things that you're thinking that you're waiting for is money right money 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 but it's not money that you need money is not the first thing that we need our anticipation to the very thing that we feel that we need is what is important. So, take movement, make movement. What do you believe in? Is it a house that you want to uh, get? Go and view houses. Is it an office that you want to get? Go and look for... Um, for that, go and, and, and view the offices. Um, what do you wish to own? What kind of business do you want to venture into? Stay, take steps and go and inquire on how much it will be or what, what and all those things. Just take steps. Movement gracefully. Don't be harsh on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself over the things that did not work in the past. This time, grace got you. There's a certain grace that is released upon your life right now. Not that grace was not there, but this one, because of the prayers that you have prayed for yourself and the prayers that others have been on your behalf and your ancestors saying, listen, this time we are here, we are here for you, we are going to make this thing happen, but you've got to be compassionate and graceful on yourself. In the movements, don't be in a haste, walk according to your path, 
you know, how you can, right? Walk the way you can. Walk in the steps that you can. Don't look at somebody else, how they are doing their path. It's okay, you have failed. It's okay, you feel that you are disconnected. But no, it's not yet over. Graceful movement and actions. We've got you. That's basically that. Go and try it again. Just basically that. Go and try whatever that you have been trying and you're thinking that you are failing. Go and try it one more time. Love it. Thank you. Who me? Okay. System for me. Let me do it for you. Hey, Bumi, you had to get a The hermit are a retreat and recharge. Retreat. Go back. Yeah? Pause whatever things that are happening in your life, the many, many things that are happening and draw yourself back. Go inside and recharge. And when you are retreating, then you are able to get information of your next move, information of the questions, the many questions that you are having about your life then it will be easier for you once you get in your retreating mode, once you get all this information, all these steps and guidance, then it will be easy for you to recharge based on the journey that you know that you're supposed to take at that particular moment. It is time for you to trust your intuition. It's just time for you to start trusting your intuition. What's your card? Intuitive being. <laughs> Clear, eh? Simple. Straight to the point. Retreat and recharge. Okay. Let me pass to another person. Who's that? Emma Eleanor. I hope I was clear. Boom. I hope I was clear. I feel like you, you have a question. Um, send it. Um, my mom, Eleonora, your, your cut gave the stargazer and set your sights. Pezu, higher. Right? Set your your sides higher. You know there's there's the scripture airing um, set your eyes on Jesus or so that set your 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 attention or your eyes on things that are above, you know, which are eternal and not things that are here that just you know they, they vanish. I, I I don't remember what the scripture says, but there's something to do with that. So it's basically saying for it to handle the better things that are around your surroundings because they cause a lot of distraction and doubt and all these things. Fix your eyes on the Lord, basically. Fix your eyes on spirit. Fix your eyes on the divine. Fix your eyes. Set your sights higher. Higher, higher, higher. Pezu. Beyond what you can see, understand and feel. I'm done. Um, go to the mama All right. If I are guardian, I ignite your passions. What are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? You have this gift, to it, mama. Yeah. You are a good listener. Very good listener. You are a mother. There's something about your hug. 
when you hug someone that on its own. You have this thing of just wanting to listen to people. Come, let's talk, you know? And this is what I sense that the igniting of, of your passion is about. Ignite this particular love and zeal for you to heal people through. If that is a ministry. It's, it's a healing on its own. Just hugging someone. Just, you know, touching someone and petting them. Just a cuddle. Where have you had a hug? Own this thing. Guys, you, there's a lot of things that we don't know. There's a lot of healing modalities that we have never even tapped into. This is one of them that people think that is just there. Do you know how many people are needing a hug? Hug, just in And then when I own charger, hurry. Wang haga, oh, woman. Well, your work is even simple. Simpler than all of uh, some of us. It's like that. Imagine, you know, you have the most beautiful ministry ever. Just for you to sit down, you know, you hug them, you know, you know, you That is it. That is it. Ignite your passion. I think I'm done. Thank you so much, everyone that came and stayed till the end. Tomorrow, we are doing a, we are starting the God wound, ma'am. So, each day, I will teach and give an assignment, no? Each day, we will be teaching an assignment. The following day, the first 30 days, 30 minutes, we will look into, okay, this is what we will do. Tomorrow, I will teach and give an assignment, something that you will have to do. Thank you, thank you, Mama. I will teach and give you something that you need to do. Work on yourself, right? On Tuesday, we whatever that you have come out with, right? On Wednesday, I present something else. I teach on something else. On Thursday, right? We go through the process of on of you know you're healing you and going into the deeper parts that you may not have understood concerning what you were doing. Basically, I will do I will teach on Sunday. Tuesday is elaboration and intuitive um, healing, um, and then on Wednesday we teach. We do give uh, homework on Wednesday. We do the very same thing: healing. Um, and intuitive on Friday, we teach and give all that. On Saturday, the closing day, we do healing and intuitive. That's that because I know that some there might be a lot of people, right? For the for those that I'm not going to be able to reach, I'm sorry, but the preference, the preference will be people that I started with from the beginning. Even if they come late, I'm going to have to. Um, you know, work with them more than others, but when time allows, I am going to try my best to cover everyone, right? So come tomorrow, we're starting healing the God wound, um, and Tuesday, Monday, we break it down, what you have discovered, so that I can be, and this is what I will do as well, I will choose one person, I'm going to make it this a bit fun, I will choose one person that I want to join the life, Let's see how we can elaborate or rather break down your things and, you know, a particular thing that you have discovered out of the assignment that you will do. And then you join me on the screen and then we do this, you know, something like that. Then something like, take it as a coaching, right? Hot seat coaching. Let's call it that. Healing. Or hot seat healing. I don't know what you will call. Um, those that say that, okay, I've got a good connection and I've got enough data, then we will do it. I will do that and then I will yeah, we'll see. But that's basically the structure of what we will do. So that I don't overwork myself and will stay three hours on a live stream. My boy. So yeah, I hope you guys got me. But if you want to join anyone that wants to join healing the body wound, the identity wound, come let's do this this last week. It's what is going to be happening and then at least we are done on Saturday.
right okay thank you so much and for those that say listen i want to take advantage of i i want to take advantage what am i doing man i don't know what i did guys i want to take advantage of um the promo is still is here the promo is still going um and yeah take advantage of it until saturday thank you 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 have a blessed um saturday and guys i'm going to sleep i can't kill myself i'm tired today or not i guess buy a all right i love you all thank you bye